Whiskey Cast. Proudly brought to you by Redbreast, the definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Join the Stillhouse at singlepotstill.com and receive an exclusive whiskey tasting journal. I'm Mark Gillespie. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. I'm in Bardstown, Kentucky at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival and you know how they like to refer to the Masters Golf Tournament as an event unlike any other? This truly is. This is the World Championship Bourbon Barrel Relay Competition. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. All right, we're off. Let's hear it, Buffalo Trace. This race isn't for the faint-hearted or those with weak backs. All right, let's hear it for Jude. These barrels are full of water. They weigh about 525 pounds each. It's a combination of brute force and finesse. And it's not nearly as easy as it looks. A little bit of bad luck when those uh, barrels hit the post, get off, it takes valuable time away. Then it ended up, it cut your uh, set point out and it just makes it come up wrong so you lose both ways. Heaven Hill's Brandy Daniels won the women's title. And Buck Cheatham of Heaven Hill successfully defended his men's title. Feel great. Feel great. We might try it again next year. Tell me about the process of rolling those barrels around. I know that. The process is when you put them in, when they first enter the rack, you got to have your bung in a proper position so when they get to the back of the rack, the, the bung is up. When the bung is up, that, that'll minus you 10 seconds. And they take your total time and then they deduct your all the bungs you have up 10 seconds each bung and that's where you get your final time. How hard is it to make sure you get that bung up? Going that fast, pretty hard. <laughs> on a daily basis, pretty easy. Why does the bung have to be straight up? Because that's where the whiskey goes in and it's the first place the whiskey will leak out. If you get it off or down the bottom, there's a lot of pressure in those barrels when they're aging over the eight years like we do. Uh, it's a lot of pressure gets in that barrel and it'll blow that bung out. Okay, let's hear it. Jim Beam off and running. In the team competitions, four members push ten barrels through the course. There's a coach that can help the ricker line up the barrels but can't touch them. The women of Jim Beam took the team title and the men's competition was close. Okay, let's give them a big hand, Buffalo Trace. Okay, where are the Heaven Hill people? All right. All right, they're off. Heaven Hill's men had won the team competition six previous times, and with individual champion Buck Cheatham leading off, they were going for number seven. Okay, that's what the hay bales are for. Despite several miscues, the Heaven Hill team managed to win by two seconds over the team from Jim Beam. Man, he tried to do the dance, and the dance was half time, not now. What happened there? It just went, uh, I don't know. It's okay, one of them years. Get them lined up, get them ready but you here. still managed to get a top score. Uh, well, that's, the other teammates picked me up. <laughs> It's all about the team, right? Yes, sir. Teamwork. Just like Heaven Hill, it's teamwork. After claiming the title, another tradition for Heaven Hill, a backflip off the top rail. You'll never see the warehouse folks at a whiskey festival or a tasting, but for one sunny Saturday afternoon in September, they're the ones getting the applause. There's only one thing, 
It's called the World Championship Bourbon Barrel Relay. Bourbon barrels are used all over the world, but so far only Kentucky distillers have competed in the World Championship. Maybe one day a team from Scotland, Ireland, Canada, or any of the other whiskey-making countries will compete in Bardstown. That would be fun to watch. For more Cask Strength Conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them and the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. At the Kentucky Bourbon Festival in Bardstown, Kentucky, I'm Mark Gillespie.